Hello everybody, my name is EQ and welcome back to The Cycle. It feels so nostalgic making a video covering this game because it's been a little bit over a year since I last touched it. I remember being so zealous about it, being very excited to play it every single day. I started making my first few YouTube videos about The Cycle and I completely dropped it. Back when I first decided to take the leap and create a YouTube channel and start posting videos, The Cycle was the game that I was most excited about creating content for. And right around that time was when the developers decided to completely change the game and announced that they were going to completely rework the game from where it was uh, and just turn it into something that I could no longer support. I can no longer bring myself to launch the game and enjoy it knowing that uh, what I was playing and what I was investing time into creating uh, tutorials and guides for was not going to be the same. It was all going to be a race and all for nothing. It was kind of hard for me to come to terms with the fact that the development team over at Jaeger Interactive made the choice to basically erase their full core experience, erasing all of the work that they did over the past two years. That coupled with the fact that because focus was shifting into this new direction for the game, all new content that was supposed to be coming out for the current version of the game just completely stopped and it just got very stale very quick. Honestly, we saw a huge decline in the player base once this announcement was made and when the player base has that drastic of a drop it was honestly just not fun anymore you would have nights where you would have to wait 10 15 minutes in between games because there was only like four or five lobbies currently running in the game you'd be matched up against the same people over and over and because the player base had dropped so much most of those lobbies were just filled with cycle veterans who were absolute machines at the game and just knew it so well that if anybody knew would try to join into the experience they would feel lost and just drop the game completely because they were no match and had no chance to really understand what the game was all about the original version of the cycle was so good in so many ways it was a breath of fresh air in the battle royale genre it wasn't your typical battle royale it wasn't about being the last one standing eliminate every other player eliminating other players was just another means to an end honestly it wasn't the main focus of the game the main focus of the game was completing objectives this means that you could go an entire game without killing absolutely anybody and just focus on either pve or just doing the objectives themselves and you could still win without having done any sort of pvp period granted it is very hard for you to do so because there will be other players trying to stop you from doing what you're doing but it wasn't the main objective of the game and that's what i really loved about it that it wasn't like another call of duty it wasn't another apex legends it wasn't another insert generic battle royale here it was something that made you tackle each and every single map in a different way uh, for you to formulate your own paths around the map in order to finish these objectives as quickly as possible rack up as many points or you could just go around eliminating every other team honestly there was nothing stopping you you could do that if you wanted to but eq with the, the cycle was such a fantastic and perfect game then why did the devs decide to change it well unfortunately we never really got a solid official answer for that i reached out to the devs at some point last year after the announcement was made to kind of ask them the same question uh and they gave me two answers that honestly really make sense but after we go over those reasons we will go ahead and put on our tinfoil hats on and speculate as to the real reason why the cycle was completely reworked the first of the two more official answers as to why the game was completely changed was because since the game is such a different take on the battle royale genre a very solid and in-depth tutorial was needed to kind of guide players in the right direction unfortunately the team did not really create a very comprehensive tutorial that gave players the full scope of information needed to actually succeed in a match this caused a lot of new players to completely ditch the game because their initial experience with it was just absolutely Absolutely horrible they would go into matches not knowing what to do get completely steamrolled and since they couldn't really figure it out they would just drop it like a fly semi-official reason number two directly correlates to what we just spoke about in reason one because there wasn't a steady flow of new players coming into the game unfortunately the game could just not support itself on the microtransactions that it implemented via the cosmetic stores unfortunately there just wasn't enough player interest in these cosmetics and therefore they were not turning a profit and again like i said these two reasons that the devs kind of gave us as the the more official answers they're they're reasonable they're definitely a, a very major issue that 
you need to address. Obviously, you want to make money that you're not just making a game for free. But here's where we start speculating. And here's where things get kind of interesting. A couple of years back, as some of you may know, a small little tiny Chinese company called Tencent had acquired about 40% stake of the entirety of Epic Games. The cycle being developed by Jaeger Games as an exclusive for the Epic Games Store. You can infer that Tencent had a little bit of pull as to what decisions Jaeger may or may not make while being an exclusive in the Epic Games Store. Fast forward to June 2021 and Tencent has now acquired a majority of Jaeger Interactive. Now we know that all of these deals don't happen overnight. These are like years or if not months in the making. So we can certainly speculate that something was already brewing around the time that the announcement of the changes was made. Only about a month and a half to two months later do we find out that Sync Off Planet is being launched. Sync Off Planet follows a similar premise to what the cycle used to do. Basically, it is a PvEVP shooter with abilities where your mission is to go out into the maps, gather intel or data or points or whatever they're going to call it, and be the final team to extract safely out of the map. Sound familiar? Well, turns out that Synced Off Planet is being developed by Tencent. Look at that. Small world. I wonder why the cycle changed. But that's just, again, speculations. Tinfoil hats off now. Now, here we are one whole year later after a bunch of delays and setbacks were finally given the closed beta they mentioned that their new vision was to have a escape from tarkov like experience the game was going to change from being this very fast-paced ability shooter with jetpacks sliding mechanics super jumps etc to a very slow boots to the ground realistic combat shooter i'm going to be completely honest with you guys there was a closed alpha that happened earlier this year i opened the game up once played a single match immediately closed and uninstalled it i cannot believe the change that this game had gone through it was just ridiculously different uh and and let me tell you i do not enjoy games like tarkov or hunt showdown basically because i'm all about the run and gun the abilities the, the super jumps and everything else in between that just makes a game super fast paced and just a ton of fun and very hectic so to open up a game and basically know that now i'm playing crouch simulator 2021 because that's literally all you do all you do is just crouch around because if you run and somebody hears you that could potentially be it you lose all of your gear if you die, all of your weapons and everything else, just like Tarkov, and it just was not fun. It was not a fun experience. So in comes in the closed beta that lasts in an entire month from October to November. And I told myself that I was gonna try the game again. I would try to play with as little bias as possible and just try it out, be completely open-minded and just try to go with the expectation that the game that I used to love just completely gone at this point. There is no going back and just try to give it a fair chance. And I did. And to be honest with you guys, as a veteran player of the cycle, somebody who put hundreds of hours into the old cycle and was extremely close minded and very hateful of the new version of the cycle, I will say and I will admit that I no longer hate the new version of the game. If anything, to me, the new Cycle Frontier is the game to go if you want to play a game of the same genre as Tarkov or Hunt, but you feel like Tarkov is just way too punishing and way too in-depth to get into. And honestly, I feel like it's better than Hunt Showdown because over in Hunt Showdown, there's really nothing that you're really going for. There's no end game to it, uh, at least that I know of with the little experience that I have had on Hunt. All I've seen is go in get the evidence kill the boss extract level up your guy and that's pretty much it and just, just rinse and repeat get better weapons as you go but i haven't really seen any actual good end game that makes me say hey look i actually want to continue playing on showdown the cycle i feel like it's the beginners park off this is where you go to actually have fun if you want to play a Tarkov like game. I will give credit where credit's due. I will. The game looks beautiful. The maps before in the previous version of the cycle looked fantastic. And the game has taken that and basically 
gone to town with it. The visual team did a fantastic job with the game. The other thing that I want to give props for and something that I really was not expecting is the adrenaline rush that you would get from being in danger. That feeling that you know that if you die, you will lose literally everything. You don't know how many times I absolutely raged when I had something like a flechette or an advocate or something along those lines which are very expensive weapons. And I would know that if I made one single mistake, there goes all that money down the drain, which <laughs> it happened. It happened a couple of times and I raged. But overall, I was not expecting that thrill or that almost fear that I would have when I would enter a high danger area and I would see the big marauders walking around or how I'd be running around the map and suddenly I hear footsteps far ahead and I would have to start immediately hiding or positioning myself for a potential gunfight or even the experience that I had where I, I could actually talk in game and negotiate my way out of a fight without even having to engage anybody. That was actually fun. I will say I have thoroughly enjoyed those feelings that I had when playing that game, but knowing where the game came from and what it used to be, it's just very hard to say that that feeling comes anywhere near close to the thrill and excitement and chaos that was the old version of the cycle. In the end, to kind of close everything off, would I play the game again? Yeah. I'll play the game again during the next beta or full release, or even if they go back into early access, I'll, I'll play the game again. Uh, will it be to the extent that I used to? No, it's not. It's not the same for me. It doesn't give me the, the same giddy feeling that I had back then, but it'll all come down to how Jaeger tackles the end game and progression system, how they fine tune the crafting, how they handle future content and what they're going to add to the game. Certainly, I want to see what I really wanted to see in the previous version, which is more maps more game modes. I wanted to see more alien factions. I wanted to see more playable suits or abilities. I wanted to see more variety of guns. Right now we have the same guns that we had in the previous cycle. And I want to see something that's actually going to make me want to come back to the game. I want to make sure that whenever I play the game, I play it with a purpose, knowing that I'm working towards a goal. And once that goal is it's achieved, then I have something else to keep me coming back continuously. I know that that's very hard with a lot of games. And I know that it takes a lot of time for development teams to come up with all of this content but honestly it's what's going to be needed at least for me for all of you who are not old cycle players give the game a chance give it a try. I know that a lot of you are coming from the Tarkov community and I hear that the Tarkov community is not in the best of places right now. Uh, I hear a lot of uh, hacking going on and a lot of extra crap and bugs and everything else so hopefully this experience that you find in the cycle is that breath of fresh air that you needed just like i needed one when i was in between battle royales and i didn't know what else to find until i found the cycle so i honestly don't want to talk about the negatives of the game currently as it is and the version that it's in right now because it was just a closed beta so i want to see how the devs release this game and make a more informed decision then of the things that I absolutely disliked about it because I know that a lot of them are just bugs that need to be ironed out and so I'll just leave it mostly positive for now but I want you guys to tell me what did you guys think if, did you get a chance to play the game did you get a chance to try out both versions of the cycle if you have and you were a veteran like me what did you think uh were you just as surprised as I was when I played this new version and and the things that I liked and the things that, that I encountered. I would like to have more of a discussion. So just please leave it down in the comments below what your thoughts are about the new version of the cycle and what things are you looking forward to and what things are you more excited about and, and what things you didn't like. I want to know what you didn't like about the game as well. Just maybe hopefully have a more open discussion about that as well. So I'm super sorry to drag on. I know that I've been just talking your ears off right now it feels like youtube has contractually obligated me to let you know to hit the like button down below if you enjoyed the content keep in mind that i'm streaming every tuesday thursday saturday from 8 p.m onwards over on twitch the link will be down in the description below and as always my name is eq and i will catch you on fortuna stay safe prospectors